Well put. All right. Now, Louise, if you come up here and have a seat there. Now, I'm going to give you a book that I know you have never seen before, simply because it has not yet been published. It is called The Last of the Southern Winds. It is a novel by David Lewis, and the publishers were kind enough to let us have a copy before it is released on July 6th. She therefore could not possibly have seen it in advance. Now, she is spending these few seconds looking over the book jacket and just getting a general feel of the book, and when I say go, she will read for one minute. We will then see how many pages she reads in a minute. As she starts reading, notice how her hand glides down each page, how swiftly it goes. That is, her eye is following her finger. All right, Louise, are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. Stop, if you please, if you will. One minute exactly. Now, she has read in one minute 27 pages of this book. The book averages 475 words a page. Now, while she collects her thoughts and makes a few notes about what she has just read, let me explain a little bit about what you've seen. Uh, as I say, that most of us would read at the rate of anywhere from 250 to 400 words a minute, or roughly one page in this book. Not quite one page. Uh, she has read in one minute's time 27 pages. Now this reading technique, which is called reading dynamics, was developed over 15 years by a former high school teacher who was constantly shocked by the slow reading of her students. And she is sitting in our audience tonight, Mrs. Evelyn Wood. Mrs. Wood, will you stand up and take a bow, please, just so we can see you? Now, Mrs. Wood, I am told, is trying to introduce this reading technique into our public school system so that everybody can benefit from it, but until that time, she is holding classes in 10 of our larger cities. Now, let's get back to Louise. To prove that she understood what she read, we have invited the author of the book to be with us. They have never met. Here is Mr. David Lewis. Mr. Lewis? <laughs> Now, if anybody knows what this book is about, Mr. Lubas should be the final authority because he wrote it. Louise, will you take uh, perhaps a minute here to explain to him what happened in the first 27 pages, and then if you will either verify or deny according to the facts. Uh, may I say that this is a, an excellent book. I really enjoyed it. It's fiction. It's The Last of the Southern Winds, and it takes place in Key West. It's a very remote and very sophisticated, very beautiful place. It tells the story of Carl Solon, who was introduced, and he's, uh, he goes along, he's going, just thinking. That's what he does in most of the first chapter. He meets, he's going to a friend of his house, and he finds, instead of his friend, a girl named Jenny, who had silver dangle bracelets hanging on her arm. She had nice, a nice suntan, real pretty. And <laughs> <laughs> he describes the beauty of the water, beauty of the palms and the thrashing winds and leaves and talks about Ben and the other friends that are around there. It seems as though he's going to introduce them. I sort of got interested and then I was stopped all of a sudden. <laughs> well, I think that we will give you a copy of this book. I'm sure David will read this. Is that accurate? Please? That is accurate. Though. Gary, it's very accurate indeed, and it took me a month to write what she read in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Lucas, on a fine book, and I hope it goes well. Louise, I tell you you're incredible. You tell me it's the system. I'll have to take your word for it. Thank you ever so much for being with us tonight. 